Man, in today's video, I want to talk to all the brothers out there, the men, about what it's going to take uh, to come out from among them. Going from the city to a set-apart country way of living. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I remember, you know, growing up in the city and the trends and the fashion and stuff like that, that you adopt this way of and you become very vain as a man. Far as, you know, always worried about uh, are your shoes clean and stuff like that. You know, as a young child, man, I used to look at the kids uh, who had the Jordan zone uh, and look at my shoes being from like Kmart, being from Walmart. And I always said, man, when I grow up, you know, I'm gonna get me a pair of these Jordans. I'm gonna have the nicest shoes. But, you know, to be honest, man, that didn't amount to anything because even though I had, uh, I, I, you know, joined the military and I was able to buy nice shoes, man, I used to take, uh, you know, every time I would get paid, man, I was going to Foot Locker and getting uh, either a pair of Jordans or the two for 89 special. They don't even do that anymore. But in saying that, you know, uh, it was very vain. It was a lot of vanity. And, you know, I wasn't producing fruit, you know, the biblical fruit. I wasn't able to fulfill being an agricultural people because, you know, when you look at like the land, I don't really worry about my grass being green. You know, I worry about the fruit. These are fruit trees that you see, five rows of fruit tree. And I'm gonna get these planted and then uh, get these growing good. And then I'm gonna do another row. I wasn't producing fruit because I was worried about, you know, the stuff like people in the city worry about. The grass being green, uh, a nice, perfect trimmed edge. But I tell you that, man, when, uh, when we came out, you know, uh, from the city, these right here are my go-to, man. A good steel toe boot steel toe boot right here and you realize this right here is what's gonna cause uh, a lot of men not to want to stay out they'll try it for a little bit and then they want to go back to the city because uh, this requires you see this this pair of boots is just broken in when I got these the leather was good and stiff these boots about two years old and you know it took me about a good six months of pouring concrete putting in fencing to loosen up the material where they're nice and comfortable. Good steel toe, waterproof. These boots ran me, I think I got them on clearance, but ran me around $120. And you gotta think, man, uh, how did we go from being the agriculture people that was in bondage brought over, you know, by the slave trade of Deuteronomy 28 and working the fields, doing all the agriculture and all that, to, to nowadays uh, just only focused on vanity and Jordans and we don't grow anything it, it, you know we don't uh, we don't own anything we don't grow anything and we've gotten away from being the agricultural people you got to think when they put us on them ships for you know uh, the slave trade and brought us over here we knew how to farm we knew have to we knew how not to rely on the system but slowly man you know we've gotten away from this and this is the reason why uh, you know, a lot of men get looked at as an ATM today, as an ATM machine, because they don't know how to do things that involve surrounding a good pair of work boots. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you cannot have a pair of Jordans or you cannot have a pair of nice dress shoes or expensive shoes that you like, but your bread and butter as a man right here, man, this country was built off of, of men wearing a good pair of boots. And this right here, I know a lot of people they're looking at these like, what the heck are these? These are actually sketchers right here and they got a good year sole on them. So when I'm, you know, not doing uh, labor intensive work and maybe I'm going to Lowe's or something like that, I'll pull these out right here. And these are like a, a, a hiking shoe. They got a good sole on them, good aggressive sole. They're good and comfortable. They're waterproof and, uh, you know, they're very functional. But 
when you think about the kind of uh, when you think about the kind of work that you have to be able to do on the homestead, you gotta understand, man. UP Farms, Ringo TV, New Breed, man. You can't be you can't be uh, you know worried about your Jordans and stuff like that out here because it's not that kind of lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? It is uh, any time where I'm getting ready to go or leave my property. You know, uh, I might see something that needs to be done. And if I don't have a uh, functional uh, attire room, you know, a lot of people will stay, stray away from doing the work that needs to be done because they don't want to get their clothes dirty. We're moving out here in the land as a man. Man, I'm trying to get dirty. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to get these hands good and calloused and, uh, you know, and, and blistered. But it comes down to these right here. And these, are the, these are my go-to right here. Anytime I'm doing anything, out here, I like. I gotta, I gotta unload a uh, handling room, and I'll probably put these on. You know, if I'm going into town, like I said, to go get supplies or goat feed or, or chicken feed, then these are it right here. But I'm gonna tell you, man, that's what stops uh, a lot of people from actually uh, doing what the book says. What stops a lot of men from doing what the book says, and all like uh, all of my kids have boots. My wife has a pair of boots because when we are getting out here. Uh, getting it, you need something that's built for work. And when you look at these Nikes and things, you got more people wearing Nikes and Jordans that, that don't exercise, don't play sports, don't, or don't you know, don't play basketball. And what for? You're letting all your money go down the drain when a good pair of boots for a man, a hardworking man. Oh, that's a good investment. So, so there you have it, man. I hope this helps you out on your journey. And uh, may the most high y'all bless the labor of your hands. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.